What's going on YouTube? I thought I'd make a video on my Maxpedition EDC pouch. This is a pouch that I carry every single day, virtually everywhere I go, especially to work. Um, this pouch I've had now for nine years or so. Um, I use it every day, like I said. Um, I open it, I close it, I beat the hell out of it. It's still as good as day one. And I mean everything. It's not fraying, it's not ripping, it's not tearing. Uh, the zipper on most uh, pouches, uh, backpacks, that type of thing, you expect the zipper to uh, rip, to tear, malfunction. This is as good as day one, and I stuffed the hell out of it, so um, this thing is awesome. Uh, getting right into this, uh, the front of it has a pouch on here. Um, it's a mesh pouch. Um, unfortunately, when you have this thing full, and everybody that I know that has one has this thing stuffed to capacity, when it's full like that, you can't really put anything in here. Um, maybe a, a, a little pin like I do. Right now I have a, a big lighter in here. Sometimes you can put you know, um, a notebook, that kind of thing. Um, but other than that, you can't really use this for much if you have this thing stuffed. Up uh, here you have an area um, to put patches on here. There's an assortment of them that you can find online. Um, I have a few of them, but um, I took it off because every time I put it in the, in the pack, it seems to, you know, find its way torn off getting caught on something so I leave it as is opening this up we'll start on this side I have this uh, slim and foldable uh, Torx bit driver just put the bits in here it's got a little on off switch for a little light uh, it's not very useful but it, you know it's there um, these are the common smaller ones that I use so it's nice and slim I keep that right here Right here, this is a mini pry tool it's from Night Eyes. It's got a cap lifter on there, and uh, you can use that as a wrench. I can't imagine I'm ever going to use that, but uh, it's there. A little carabiner. Mainly use this for, for the pry option. But uh, I also carry the, the new Gerber uh, Lockdown Pry. There's a video on that, you can take a look. Right here, I have a stainless steel ballpoint pen. This is a twist type. I chose this over the plastic for obvious reasons. It's not going to break as easy. Uh, right here I have a fire steel. It's a first aim rod. It's a smaller size. And then there's a scraper tool on this side. Nice and slim. On this side there is a little removable thing here. It has some uh, tinder in there. I believe it's a cotton swab with kerosene on there. But you can put whatever tinder you want in there. Right here I have this telescoping magnetic tool. It's especially good when you're working under the vehicle. You drop something small. Very nice tool to have. It's got the pocket clip right here as well. This one is super slim, so I like it. Right here I have this uh, sharpening tool. I picked this up at Lowe's for about three bucks. This is a carbide uh, sharpening tool used for uh, guarding tools, hoes, that kind of thing, shovels. Um, but in a pinch, you can uh, put an edge on your blade. I don't like using carbide um, it, because it takes off a lot of steel more than necessary. Um, but like I said, if you're out in the field, this is, this is another option to, to make your blade serviceable. And right here is another field sharpening unit here. Just tighten it up. Right here, you got on this side, you got a little groove right here to sharpen fish hooks. And here, you got a, a medium grit side. It's not the best, but it is good um, for, for the field. If you're out in the woods or that kind of thing, this thing's awesome. Or if you're just out in the city like I am and I need a, just a quick, quick touch up. Over here, we've got another redundancy. This is a ferro rod, larger size from Coglins. It has been used a bit. Um, I like to have a several kinds of lighting implements. I like a lighter, but I always like to have a ferro rod on me, and I have two of them in here. This is the knife that I use in here. This is the Ganzo Firebird. This is a 440C steel blade. Um, this is more of a beater knife, but I still consider it heavy duty, um, even though it's not the greatest of steel. I beat the hell out of this knife, and I've had it now for five or six years, and it's still going strong. Um, but I like it in here because um, if I were to put a, a higher end knife in here and this whole case gets lost or stolen 
well, then I'm going to be crying like a little girl. I'll be still crying like a little girl if I lose this or even a $5 Walmart knife, but not as bad. So I like to have that in there. Right here, I have my favorite multi tool of all time, and this is a Leatherman Wave Plus. We've all seen that. I've added a pocket clip to this, and there is a video that I uploaded a while back to show you how to do that. It's very quick and easy. It's got all the basic tools that you could want in here. Uh, my favorite. The only uh, thing that I don't like about this, and this is just a personal thing, is these are not um, spring-loaded. Um, there are people out there that prefer it this way. I'm not one of them. I like the spring-loaded pliers. I won't get into that because we already know. Everyone has seen the Gerber, I'm sorry, the Leatherman Wave Plus. But right here, I actually have an attachment for that. And this is for the, uh, the bit driver right here. So instead of the dedicated uh, bit that's gonna go to that, which I have there somewhere, you have this, uh, this ratchet. And then, like this, I just carry this also, and I, I carry a few uh, separate sockets in here. You got a 10 millimeter, uh, a half, a 5 8 and those are pretty much the three that um, I tend to use in my day to day um, usage. So those are the ones I carry in there, but of course they, they are interchangeable. Put that off to the side. Right here, I have this titanium spork. Um, pretty versatile tool. It's got a cap lifter and again a wrench. Again, I don't imagine I'll be using that wrench. Um, but you know, it's nice to know that you have it. This this is you know a pretty good digging tool as well. It's pretty versatile. So this from uh, CRKT, I believe. Inside here in the back, I have this uh, little battery for my phone. Um, pretty cool. I got this as a gift for my daughter, and I've had it for three years, and it it, it works awesome. It keeps the charge in here pretty pretty long. I've had it in this case for a year at a time, and it only dropped about a bar or two. So. That was pretty cool. Pocket juice. And I have a flashlight. Now, I carry a flashlight in my front right pocket along with my uh, dedicated folder. Um, I have a system. I'll do a, a video on that um, next, probably. But this is a flashlight. The one I carry in my, my, my front pocket is uh, USB rechargeable, which I really like a lot. Another redundancy here. This has a flashlight on this side. This is the SOG Q2. SOG came up with a line of Q tools. Um, this was one of them. Of course, I we're told it has a flashlight on there. It's got um, the screwdriver with cap lifter on there. I actually use that quite a bit. And then right here, it's got this blade. Not too bad. Again, on most of these multi-tools, I uh, don't really use the blade on them. You know, like I said, I have a primary blade that I carry with me. Out in the woods, I'll carry a fixed blade. Um, so I'm not gonna use this, but it's nice to know that, that you got it. And what else do I got in here? Some more sockets. It's another little multi-tool. This is the uh, saw cross cut. Uh, what I really like these is because of the scissors. Even though this is very small, this has got probably the best scissors that I've seen on any multi-tool. Uh, for one, the size on it is pretty, it's pretty big. That's what she said. Um, uh, your, your standard uh, scissors are like half the size, and I, I don't really like that. You know, you get very little accomplished with, with, with the size. I know a lot of people like scissors on multi-tools, but I really don't like them. But on this, I do. It's also got um, a few other little tools like a, a screwdriver and it's got you know another lifter on here. I actually have a couple of uses for this including uh, picking some of my own locks. It works on them believe it or not. Um, on this side it's got another flathead screwdriver and it's got some stainless steel tweezers built into it right here. They work pretty good. I've taken out splinters with those. Works excellent. And then it's got this little blade right here. I really like this tool a lot. Um, sometimes when I go, want to be really minimalist, I'll just carry um, a lighter blade like the Bug Out because uh, it's super light. And then this, maybe in some uh, basketball shorts, super light, super awesome tool. Get a carabiner in case I want to tie stuff down or connect stuff. Another uh, adapter for my uh, Wave ratchet uh, set. That's it on that side. On this side in the back, I got some uh, jute twine. 
portage of any kind is always awesome, but this doubles because you can use this as tinder. You can fray it up and use your fire steel on it. Um, it takes a spark really, really well. So a lot of uses for this. I usually carry a paracord in there, but I had to take it out because I was doing a project with it the other day. I have a couple of uh, USB cables in here that'll work uh, for this, or if I just need to charge it somewhere some audio cables. I have some pretty uh, heavy duty uh, clothes pins here. And these are the baby safe kind. I guess they uh, kind of attach themselves in there. I have quite a bit of them in there. Never know what you'll need those for. And I got an assortment of, uh, of band-aids. This isn't a survival kit or anything like that, but I like to have uh, a couple things that you could, you know, interchange in survival kits. I do have uh, fire kits and stuff like that. Some videos I want to put together and uh, share with you guys. But this is just a, a general EDC case um, of, of equipment that I might need every single day, you know, an urban carry. This, I threw this in there just because uh, it's pretty slim. Uh, I guess this uh, categorizes a survival tool. It's got a little knife on there and some wrenches in here and, you know, little doodads. It's got um, a compass on here, some tweezers, and even a little pen in there and magnifying glass. So it's nice and slim and keep that in there as well. Yeah. Got some uh, KPL oil for the knives and uh, multi-tools. I love this stuff. Works really, really good. And I got my rape whistle. Pretty, pretty loud. It's really good uh, if you get stranded out somewhere. Um, you're unable to talk, speak, scream. Um, you may say that's never going to happen, but it does. This actually came with the a tops knife. I believe this one came with the Brothers of Bushcraft uh, knife that I bought, but I've actually have a few of them that came with uh, some of the some of the tops fixed blades. Really, really cool whistle. I think that's it for this. Might be a couple little things in there that I have. Little clips back here. You can add other stuff. It's got a little little case, but this is basically what I carry in my backpack to work. Uh, on my days off, I'll just throw it in the trunk uh, because. Like I said, this is the stuff that I'm primarily going to use in my day-to-day -day, uh, carry um, in my Maxpedition case inside my backpack. And sometimes I'll carry in my backpack uh, a fire starting kit um, or a little fishing kit as well. If I'm going to go kind of out in the woods, I may stop and uh, I don't want to carry a bunch of gear with me. So sometimes I'll have like a little pocket fisher, uh, fishing pole and then a little bit of gear with me. And I'll also throw that in my pack and then you know, just get off somewhere and do a little bit of fishing. But this is it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be uploading quite a bit of uh, new videos, new knives, uh, new EDC gear, a lot of stuff that I got. Just haven't had time to upload. This is one of them. I wanted to get off my list. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone.